first game in the District Seed Tournament. It's Gardner versus Lone Peak. And the Bighorn striking first. Ivy Hicks corrals the loose ball, finds Brooke Botha, who lays it up. Lone Peak up 4-0. to zero. Then Emma Flock drives in. Swarmed by four defenders, somehow gets this shot to go. Bighorn's up two. But here comes Gardner. Alexis McDonald dials up from distance and hits the three. Bruins lead 14-10. to 10. Now fast forward with under a minute left in the game, tied 28-28. Flock misses on the drive, but the ball gets kicked out to Hicks. And she nails the three-pointer for the go-ahead bucket as Lone Peak moves on, defeating Gardner 33-28. Next up, Shields Valley versus Lone Peak. And Hunter Sanderson inside gets some friendly help from the rim as the Rebels get going early. Then Shields goes to the long ball as Milan Moscone connects from three. And they are fired up, but Lone Peak has energy of their own. Cole March finishes at the rim, providing a spark for the Bighorns. But the Rebels, they're moving on. The loose ball finds its way to Caden Acosta, who drills the three, and Shields Valley defeats Lone Peak 54-46. Next game up, West Yellowstone battling White Sulphur Springs. Baseline, it's Shane Ogle for White Sulphur. They jump out to a 4-0 lead. Now it's the Wolverines' turn. Nathan Morse realizes the soft defense, turns around and hits the shot in the key. Then it's a battle for the rebound on the other end. The ball finally gets in the hands of Bill Hansen, who puts it back, but it is West Yellowstone who gets the win. They move on with a final of 57-44. to 44.